Do you want to see some mini split projects? Do you know how to install a mini split? Did you know you can take out a package unit and put in a mini split? Did you know you can take out a barred unit and put in a mini split? Today I'm going to show you a few mini split projects that we have done so that maybe it'll give you an idea of what you could do with your home. This could be a video for homeowners, so we're going to call this HVAC tips for homeowners slash technicians. And we're gonna be looking at mini split projects today. If you got questions, drop those in the comments. I am here to answer those questions and to try to help you. Hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing before we begin. Let's go! First project we're looking at is a customer that had financing. Instead of going back with a regular package heat pump and duct work, we installed a four ton free joint multi multi-zone outdoor unit and five indoor wall mount air handlers. Customer had financing, we included 10 year parts and labor. It was about the same price as the package heat pump and the duct work. And let's look at that project. Took out a package heat pump and duct work and put in a modulating multi-zone heat pump with five indoor heads. That's where the duct work used to go into the crawl space, covered the hole. That's where some of our line sets go from the outdoor unit to the indoor units. Almost finished with this install. This is a four ton FJM free joint multi multi zone outdoor unit. That's the old duct work and the old package heat pump that was pulled out. Line hide cover, more line hide cover. Hole cover, drain. Ooh, gotta shape that up a little bit. Looks good though. That's the indoor head. This is where the other indoor head is. Right there, looking good. Looking good. There's another head. All right, a head in the kitchen area. Another head right here. This is the last head. Awesome. So the unit in the living room and the kitchen are Winfrey models and they're 12K. The units for the rooms are 7K. So I got three 7K, 7,000 BTU, and then two 12,000 BTU. And the 12,000 BTUs are Winfrey models. Nice. Love it. Downloaded the submittal for that outdoor unit. Five port condensing unit. I want to show you a couple things. SEER, EER, HSPF. This right here has to do with efficiency and 19.7 with a non-ducted. All our units are non-ducted. They're not mixed. There's no ducted units. They're all non-ducted wall mount air handlers. So SEER is 19.7, EER is 10.5, and the HSPF 10.3. So it's more efficient when you have the non-ducted units. So efficiency goes down with the ducted. So this unit right here can be 19.7 with non-ducted or 16 sear with ducted. You can look at the maximum individual line set length, 82 foot, maximum line set length total, 230 foot. All that is good information and then minimum cooling and heating capacity. It'll go down to 6,500 BTUs for cooling and then 7,000 for heating. So that is very, very awesome. Look at the max breaker, 40 amps. And then we go back here to samsunghvac.com and then hit the back button and we can look at the Winfrey 2.0, Winfrey 2.0, E. These are the different indoor units that I can put with that condenser. Slim duct, multi-position air handler. I like these. Ducted S, console units, Winfrey. So that's a ceiling cassette, one-way cassette that goes in the ceiling, and then wall mount air handlers. Awesome. It's a great selection. Interested in seeing these? I've got a video down in the link in the description. Go check it out. Also on the submittal, it shows compatibility. We'll only operate with Samsung evaporator model numbers, and these are the model numbers. So you can put up to a two ton on one of the ports, and then you can put a 7,000. So it's from seven to two. That's a pretty nice range there. 
Second project we're looking at, customer acquired financing. The electric bill they had was an average of $800, so super high. We're looking to install a more efficient system. Instead of going back with a package heat pump and new duct work, crawl space was a little bit tight as well, just like the last project. Instead, we installed a multi-zone mini split system, four ton outdoor unit, and we had a total of four indoor heads. We had one for upstairs console, uh, two 7Ks, laundry room, bedroom, and then a 24K for the main living area. So we're looking to lower that electric bill and have the system pay for itself over the next five years. Let's take a look. So we're going to take out this package heat pump and the duct work, and we're going to install a multi-zone mini split system, Samsung free joint multi mini split system. We're going to put four heads indoors. We're going to do wall mount and console unit and we're going to lower the electric bill because the electric bill is $800 for this customer. And that is wet too much. Oh, looks like it's frozen. Going to put a 7K, 7,000 BTU head inside of the laundry room. So that'll be a wall mount air handler in here. Bedroom, going to put another 7,000 BTU wall mount in this bedroom. Main living area, dining room, kitchen area, I'm going to put a big... 24,000 BTU unit right here, about 10 inches below that trim. And that'll take care of the main living area. Upstairs bedroom, gonna put a console unit right there for this upstairs area. This is before we run the line sets. That right there is where the console is gonna go upstairs. This right here is the laundry room. And this right here is that bedroom. And here is the wall that the 24,000 BTU unit is gonna go on. So our pad right here will work good for the outdoor unit. And we'll only use one of these disconnects because we won't have electric heat strips. So this is a heat pump, has electric heat strips. We don't need heat strips. We're using our compressor during those coldest months to produce the heat that we need inside. Got the old package heat pump out of the way. Unloading the outdoor condenser. There's our line sets from each of those indoor units. We got some insulated flat metal, cross broken hemmed around the edges to cover the crawl space. And here is some line hide cover on one of the line sets that leads to the 24K wall mount air handler for the main living area. Let's go take a look inside. There's another set of line sets going underneath this front porch. And there's, oh, I like those elbows, man. That is nice. And this is the line hide cover that covers the line sets that go to the console for the upstairs. And there's another head. There'll be more line hide cover. Looking good. So there is the two-ton head for the main living kitchen area. In the bedroom, this is the 7K for the bedroom. Another 7K wall mount for the laundry room. And this is the console for the upstairs bedroom. You can see where the line sets and the drain come out of the bottom corner there. And then this right here is the cover. Love these. Outdoor unit, all the line sets are connected. This is line hide cover and line sets going to that 24K in the living room. Looks really good. Really good. We got five total pipe connections and we're using four of them because we got four indoor units and it is a four ton, 48,000 BTU outdoor unit. Console unit. Third project we're looking at is a single zone install of a two ton mini split in a guest house. And we did some modifications to the indoor wall mount air handler to where we don't have an obstruction right in front of that air handler. And that obstruction can cause bounce back effect and making the unit shut off. It won't heat and cool properly. You're gonna see that in this video. Today I'm taking out this Mitsubishi and I'm putting in a Samsung and we're gonna make this install better. Let me show you how we're going to make it better. So the way we're going to make this install better is we're going to take this 
wall mount air handler and we are going to bring it out that way part of this cabinet is not in the way of the airflow as you can see right there that cabinet is basically blocking the air and that obstruction will cause the air to bounce back and the unit to shut off sooner than it would so we're going to frame up a little U right here between these two joists and we're going to bring our line sets out and our drain out and then the wall mount air handler is going to be just about even with that part of the cabinet right there. All right. Taking the old wall mount air handler off of the bracket and I'm very thankful that they didn't just go straight out the wall over on that side. We got some line set and some drain here to work with because we will need to attach some more line sets and drain onto this to reach the wall mount that we're going to put about right here. New outdoor unit installed. Looks really good. Had to run a signal cable, communication cable from the indoor to the outdoor. So we chose to use some of this half inch schedule 80. Look at that. Let's go look at the inside. That is gonna work so much better. Framed up using some two by fours. Mounted the bracket that holds the wall mount. And now we got plenty of room to throw that air. This should work so much better. Beautiful. Fourth project we're looking at is where we took out a barred unit and we installed a three ton max series single zone mini split system. Took out that old barred unit and hopefully we're going to take out a few more of those barred units uh, later on this year and install some more mini splits. The old barred unit. Well, barred unit here and this is the thermostat. Outdoor unit. Indoor wall mount air handler, three ton. Looking good. New wireless remote controller. Now it's time to take out the rest of the 1990 barred units. From gas to BRF heat pump. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you liked it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe and smash that bell ding so you know what I'm doing before you leave. If you need help with your project, you need support, check out my membership levels. Click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments you joined and I'll give you my email and that can lead to contact with me. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners slash Technicians. I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.